Attorney Charles Gilman from Gilman and Badigian joins us live via Zoom. Charles, thank you for joining us. We know the freight company, company Maersk chartered the ship that crashed into the bridge. Who could be legally responsible based on what we know so far? Well, it, Kai, it's an interesting question. Based on what we know so far, the liability could rest with the operator or the captain of the ship, which may have been, my guess is it's based on, it's probably the harbor captain who is a local captain. Right now, it, it, depending upon what we don't know, if there was a mechanical failure, then, then it changes my, my, uh, my analysis here. But if it was something that was a pilot or a captain related, it's going to be the harbor pilot that's negligent that caused this collision. If there was something that went wrong with the ship, like the power wasn't working, um, generator failed or something along those lines, it's gonna require a deeper analysis into what went wrong and why that went wrong before we can determine who or what's gonna be liable. Yeah, all indications, and we even have video that you can see where the power, the lights go out, they go back on. And also I should mention, uh, the New York Times reporting that an inspection of the Dolly vessel, this big cargo ship that crashed into the Key Bridge, last year at the port in Chile reported the vessel had a deficiency related to propulsion and auxiliary machinery. Again, that was a June 27th inspection that there was an issue with the propulsion, which is what people are pointing to in all of this i think there were i think actually there's some published reports of a number of uh mechanical failures with this thing in, in terms of um just reports but but what's the legal responsibility here then do cargo ships have when they enter and exit the the, the, the harbor we know that there has to be a pilot on board the ship but if there's a mechanical failure th this isn't a car drifting down the road this is something that weighs thousands of tons and it will not stop on a dime no, it, it doesn't have brakes like a car does. You're absolutely right. So the liability is going to rest with whoever was to manage and maintain this, this vessel. And if there's prior citations to mechanical failures, that's certainly going to highlight that whoever was maintaining it was failing to properly maintain it. And there, in and of itself, you have the negligence. You can't possibly send a vessel into the sea if it's not seaworthy. And that's essentially what the owner... And, per, and people responsible for maintaining this boat have done based on the reporting that we know is they were just negligent. It'd be like driving your car if you knew it didn't have brakes. And we know that uh, the NTSB mentioned that, and we've seen it before in less severe incidents that these investigations can take years before the NTSB puts out its final report. Right. Usually there's a preliminary report that comes out and then that final report. But could we see criminal charges as a possibility here? Uh, yes, I think that's complicated by the number of countries that may be involved. We don't, I don't know enough about who owned or maintained this boat, but certainly criminal charges are a possibility. If it's a failure and it's a, it's a criminal act to knowingly have a vessel that's not seaworthy and put it out to sea. So absolutely, we could see criminal charges. Well, the president has said that the federal government is going to uh, pay to fix the bridge. Do you think the company will end up having to reimburse the United States for or some or all of the funding for that? I, I certainly hope so. I mean, this is a situation where if the federal government's going to pay for the bridge, that takes the, you know, the burden off the state of Maryland, but the taxpayers are ultimately paying for it. And when you have a culpable party who was, in fact, negligent, it would be nice if they would step up to the plate and pay for it. If not, then that's what the legal system is for. Force them to pay for the, pay for the damages they've caused through their negligence and take that burden off the taxpayer. So absolutely, they should be responsible, and I hope that they're held responsible. All right, Mr. Goldman, thank you so much for being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.